Hi guys, welcome to Advices Media and in this video we will be checking out a detailed review on Huawei SN G510. So before we start off, let's check out what are the ports and what are the external features this, has, this one has got. So starting on the front, this has got a front camera of VGA and also this touch based buttons that is back, menu button and the, menu, and the multi application taskbar. So on the right hand side you can see that there are no whatsoever options available and then at the bottom you have just got a microphone slot which is placed over here and then coming to the left this one has got the power button and also this has got the volume rocker keys along with the USB charger and then at the top you have just got a 3.5mm jack at the back you've got a 5 megapixel camera along with the speaker and a flash and also a small microphone to capture all the voices when the video is being taken let's get back to the device to start start off with this has got an exciting user interface which is developed by Huawei itself Apart from that, let's check out what are the firmware this one has got. Device comes with the latest 4.1.1 operating system, which is nothing but the Jelly Bean OS. And also, it, this has got the Emotion UI, like we have got the Sense UI for HTC and TouchOS for Samsung's smartphones. This one has got the Emotion UI. This is what Huawei calls it. When you open settings, you get a very interactive option of general as well as all. In all primitive smartphones, you only see all these options listed under one category. But in this Huawei smartphone, all the core features that is Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, brightness, wallpaper and font size, everything is housed. Every important feature is put in the general feature. Apart from that, this also got an app center which is the Huawei itself and apart from that this has also got a new four layered home screen where we can select the transitions, widgets, thumbnails and also you can set different wallpapers apart from that this has got a sense like UI that is the emotion UI wherein to see all your applications, you haven't got any of the applications option, but all into it is just flip on the page to get various applications which are being installed in your device. So as you can see that this has got all the core applications of Android, that is gallery, music, cloud service, which is it. Get, I mean, like with this device, you get a free cloud storage to option as well. Though there are no details of free space usage given by Huawei but we expect it to be 5GB or 10GB or in the lines of Google Drive or Dropbox. Apart from that, this has also got the Play Movies and TV, Play Music, Play Store, by default power saving options, which otherwise is not available in all the smartphones, as one has to use the third party softwares to get installed in other devices. This has also got the Play Books, Play Magazines, wherein you can subscribe to all the dailies and the newspapers and apart from that this also got the widgets so now let's check out the battery this uh, this device comes with the 1700 milliampere of battery which is capable of holding the charge of around a day or 18, hour, 18 hours of music so let's check out the camera quality where it is though the lighting is efficient though the lighting is efficient the picture quality is pretty much good enough considering it is as a 5 megapixel camera you can't expect a 13 megapixel of power but all thanks to the optics which makes this phone pretty much good even if you are zooming it to the fullest level the image is not getting pixelated 
every unique drop down option is given to check out all the options all the settings first up you got an option of click the image and then we have got an option of several display modes wherein poster size aqua just like what instagram has got apart from that it's also got settings option where you can choose from scene type iso adjustments timer picture quality and the picture size also can be determined with the help of 5 megapixel 3.2 or 0.8 or something and then you have got an option of gps to adding the gps tag where in it adds location to your photo apart from that you can also switch between a photo or a video just with this flip switch and you click a photo all you need to do is press this button so this phone doesn't come with a bus shot most of the images are pretty much good so that's it to sum it up this phone comes with a 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor and a 4.5 inch display size 5 megapixel camera 700 of 700 mAh of battery life wifi gps dual mic and also it comes with the proximity sensor and an accelerometer etc etc so that's it from us guys stay tuned for more updates thank you